Ask the Expert, Medications for Opioid Use Disorder, with Dr. John Wynn Husen. There are three types of FDA-approved medications for the treatment of OUD. To make sense of the medications, you need to know a little bit about how opioids work. Opioids like heroin and fentanyl work by binding to the mu opioid receptor and activating it. The three types of medications represent three different strategies to try to block the effects of drugs like heroin and fentanyl. First up is methadone, which has been a medical treatment since 1972. It's an opioid agonist, which means that it binds with the mu opioid receptor and activates it. Methadone's effectiveness as a treatment is through its ability to induce a substantial tolerance in the brain opioid system, which serves to block the effects of other opioid agonists like fentanyl and heroin, and it also decreases craving and withdrawal. Another strategy to block drugs like heroin and fentanyl is to block the mu opioid receptor with a partial agonist, which is buprenorphine, or bup for short. As a partial agonist, there's a ceiling effect on respiratory depression, which decreases the risk of overdose. Bup binds the mu opioid receptor and partially activates it, which helps to decrease craving and withdrawal, while also blocking other opioids from accessing the receptor. The oral formulation of Bup was FDA approved in 2002, and we also have two extended release injectable monthly formulations. A third and final strategy is to block the new opioid receptor with an opioid antagonist, which is naltrexone. Naltrexone does not activate the receptor and so does not offer some of the benefits of methadone and bup. And it can be difficult to get people started on it since they can't use opioids for seven to 10 days before starting to take naltrexone, and that can be tricky. The oral formulation was approved in 1994 and the extended release monthly injectable was approved in 2010. Adherence with the oral formulation is a significant problem, and so the extended release formulation is recommended for treatment. How effective are medications for opioid use disorder? According to the results from a systematic review and meta-analysis conducted by Santo and colleagues, relative to times when individuals were not in methadone or bup treatment, being in treatment was associated with a 53% decrease in all-cause mortality, and significant decreases in suicide, cancer, drug-related, alcohol-related, and cardiovascular-related deaths, with the highest decrease being for drug-related deaths. In addition, there was a dramatic decrease in mortality rates for people receiving methadone or bup treatment during incarceration and post-release, with a 94% reduction in mortality during incarceration and a 91% decrease post-release. Addressing myths about medications for opioid use disorder, I want to take a moment to address what I think is the most common and damaging misconception, which is that methadone and bup treatments are just replacing one drug with another. But there are critical differences between methadone and bup and, say, heroin and illicit fentanyl, with half-life being an important factor. Half-life is used to estimate how long it takes a drug to leave your body. As you can see, heroin has an extremely short half-life, with an estimated average of three minutes. Fentanyl's is longer, but still much shorter compared to the average half-life of 24 hours for methadone and 38 hours for bup. The difference in half-life is related to its different effects. Both heroin and fentanyl produce euphoria and encourage compulsive use since the drug leaves the body relatively quickly. In contrast, once a steady state is achieved, euphoria is not experienced with methadone or bup. Because they both stay bound at the new opioid receptor, they decrease craving and withdrawal, and they both work to block the effects of opioids like heroin and fentanyl. In a nutshell, drugs like heroin and fentanyl encourage compulsive use and put people at a heightened risk for dying, while methadone and bup are safe and effective treatments that give individuals a chance to pursue healthy and productive lives. This includes resuming their roles in society, including both family and work roles. So no, we are not just replacing one drug with another. Methadone and bup have very different pharmacology that helps to stabilize the brain and produce positive public health outcomes. Treatment saves lives, heroin and fentanyl take them.